So one of the things that we're really exploring at the moment is around how we can reduce our environmental impact. Mm. I'm here today to find out about the stores here at Nottingham. It's been of real benefit to find out how other organisations do things. It's really useful for us as part of our future plans and projects to develop our own store. Before our collections were in storage that was totally unsuitable, it was quite hard to access them as staff members, let alone for the public to access them. So this is ideally suited as an industrial unit for the purpose of storing collections. One of the things that we're looking at at the moment is around our volumes of collections, so how many paintings we have in the collection and the size and scale of those artworks. This unit allows free access for large vehicles. It allows uh, shipping of large paintings out through the doors instead of having to manoeuvre them down complicated stairs, which is what you often get in historic buildings. We need to make sure that we've measured everything properly, um, measured it with frames, without frames, really thinking about the, the best places to store it, whether we can store things in archival boxes for our works on paper or whether they need to be stored on racks um, so that we can get the right amount of space that we need. Factoring in the size of the painting, you wouldn't normally have expected that that would have determined the floor height. But in fact, because it was critical to make use of the volume of, of these units, because you're paying for volume as much as square meterage, it was imperative to use the full height of this unit to get as much storage in as possible. The more inefficient your storage is, the more space you will end up needing. And floor space costs money, both to rent, to service and to heat. So for us, it makes it more accessible to have it all in one place together, and it also makes it much more cost effective for the future. The benefit of a museum store is that we can make artworks far more accessible for people. We have a very small percentage on display at any one time, but a lot of the collections are really delicate. So by swapping out collections into galleries, we can rest collections um, to help look after them and care for them better. But also it just gives us an opportunity to respond to the social climate and what's happening in society. We can get new artworks out and that helps us bring in new audiences and have new conversations. Having appropriate storage allow us to actually develop projects that arise from that, more collaborations with the universities, with other museums. We put in a fairly lightweight steel construction that is assembled upon itself rather than embedded in the walls. We've eliminated all natural light, which was very easy in this kind of construction. But rather than putting in air conditioning suite across all four units, that would have been very wasteful. So rather than investing in plant, we've invested in insulation. We've double insulated what we had here already, and that actually proved its worth during the heat wave last year. It's seeing what they learn from the project, which is really important because we can then reflect that back and put that into our project to ensure that we get things right. It's readily insulated, it's easily heated, and it has perfect access for the staff. So good storage is really about improving access. People will be able to see more, visitors will be able to interact more and engage more with what we have. By making them accessible in this way, it makes them more accessible for public tours in the future, for rotation to other galleries, for rotation to loans internationally and nationally. It actually facilitates access for learning and collaboration as well, so there's far more use can be made of the paintings than simply storing them. And we've recreated collections in zones now where we'll actually make themed tours. It's enabled us to think about things differently, explore new ways of working, and learn from the way that the staff work here, how they work with the collections, how they've managed to make their collections far more accessible. And that's something that we really want to do and take back into our project.